Trudor and Tobago is a failed stage right now. I don't understand what really going on with our Prime Minister right now. Something wrong with him. Because his last two appearances in front of the media, which was the post-cabinet briefing and the meeting he made either had in Sawa, he was just talking once a touch it. He wasn't talking to me because he was on becoming of a prime minister. You understand? First, the press conference. You come on a press conference, a post-cabinet press conference, right? Where people waiting to hear something for months, months people waiting for to hear what's going on with the crime situation in the country, right? You wait till the opposition to a big crime symposium in Ahoya and invite the members of the public to come and talk about crime. The, 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 the opposition get fed up, you do own crime talks, right? To find a solution to the problem that we have in here because they're not doing nothing. You understand? Or they're not doing one not, or they just don't care about Trinidad and Tobago. Right? When they don't do that now, they're feeling so bad. It make all they look so bad that they want to come and talk after a, 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 a post cabinet meeting in a press conference eh, and talking as a touch trip. And if you had to tell Johnny Abraham to hush and he alone about crime. You, 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 you come on a platform to cause Johnny Abraham. You understand? A man who do, who do human service for this country. You understand? A man who in 40 years fighting crime. You come to tell you hush. You come to, 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 to debate. Not, you come with no ideas or no issues to say, well, all right, you like how the opposition do that. Let like we join together and like we come up with a solution to fix the crime. No, you come to cost people. And who, and who is the worst thing in the country? You understand? You trying to convince your audience that Johnny Abraham have something to do with the crime situation. That what you trying to do? By saying, is them so, is them so. We had the country, how do you control it is? Really, Prime Minister, Dr. Rowley, you really thinking straight? And then to add insult to injury, you're going sour in your own in public meeting. And you start to talk. The first thing you reach your buffing people. You understand? You're buffing up people and telling people all kind of thing. Then after that, they're talking about some hundred million dollars for some for the for the head of the army to, to deal with the people in the hot spots and all that and all that and all that. And that's the next one phase. Gerald Hines do a whole piece of and talk for a whole half an hour about Gary Griffith. And he's insane. First, he's so stupid, but he likes to talk like if he's bright and he's most educated. He is saying the, the, his, he, the best thing he ever do is see the back of Gary Griffith. His biggest accomplishment. Here we say his biggest accomplishment in life is to see the back of Gary Griffith leaving the office. That's your biggest accomplishment? As a big city minister? Phil Gerald Hines? Something wrong with other boy. I don't know, boy. Something wrong. That whole ministry and national security like a ghost gang. Or they just collecting money when the when the man comes. Nothing is happening in the country. Nothing. The commissioner of police only praying. She only praying. Every church you going to to pray about crime. Right? And nothing is happening in the country. This is a failed state. They don't know what they're doing. You do two public meetings after so many years, people waiting to hear what's going on, how you're gonna deal with the crime situation. Just to talk about the UNC, to talk about Gary Griffith, to talk about Johnny Abraham, and out of all of that, your big solution is to come up with a hundred million dollars to get the army, the head of the army, to go and, go and recruit retired army officers and other officers. And I don't know, I, I, that song is so vague for me. That, that song is so vague. You leave everybody in speculation, like what, what are you talking about? Or they can understand what you're saying? I don't know if you, if you understand what the Prime Minister is saying, drop, a, drop something in the comments, because I for one don't understand what you're saying. Because you just talking off the top of your head. You just wanted to make a big comeback, so you chose a hundred million dollars. I keep people stupid. We know that we're gonna spend a hundred million dollars. Eight years, you had them people and them suffering in the in the hot spot communities. Your communities, your supporters suffering, catching the aunt, uncle, and then and the children. After eight years, you neglect these people for 
all of us are new about 100 million dollars to get the army to get to, to go and get to deal with criminals how how are you going about it? Where's the feasibility study? Is the army equipped and prepared? Why it is, it, and if you're going with the army, we have army officers there already, already getting paid. We have people in the army, army is there getting paid from the government, and you're, why just send the army? Why are they getting $100 million? What is it? What is the, the procedure? How is $100 million spending? Are you going in there to help develop and, and create opportunities and jobs and infrastructure work and clean up the area and make sure everything, you understand, and create employment?